Welcome to the finale of our Honda Build Off presented by Continental Tire. We're here at beautiful TMP, which means it's time to finally hit the track. You guys have been following along then you'll know that this is of course a bit of a challenge that we set up from the beginning that's right where we both had a budget of fifteen thousand dollars to build these cars and for every thousand dollars you go over a budget you get a half second penalty and if you've watched the previous episodes you'll know that i went over budget by just a hair under two thousand dollars so i've taken a half second penalty and pete on the other hand yeah i wasn't so fortunate i went over by two thousand dollars just a hair over by yeah, seventy dollars so that yeah. means i get a one second penalty so overall i have a half second penalty here that's right so he has to beat me by more than half a second to win the challenge and i have to not lose by less than half a second, I guess. Or maybe even beat you because there's some things going on with your car that you, I can sense the confidence level is not that it, high right now. It is, it is a little lower. I, I'm not going to tell everybody what it is. We're going to find out on the racetrack. But before we go doing the hot laps, I got to build my confidence back up, which means it is time for a roll race, everybody. Oh, That's right. Man. We're going to see which one of these two is faster. I'm sure you guys all already know, but let's just find out anyways. All right, boys, we are lined up for our roll races and uh, we're basically going to go with me as the pace setting car. I'm going to get up close to VTEC in first gear. And then when we get to the green pylons down there, that'll be our start line. So Pete will just match my speed and then we'll see who's quickest. in tech and go. Oh, he's got 30 wheel horsepower on me and it shows. He's also got shorter gearing and wow, yeah, that's uh, it's a lot to ask and I probably jumped the start on him a little bit there but you can see once he really got into the power band of that K20, he uh, pulled on me rather nicely and I rushed my shift into second gear I don't know if you heard it or not but I did grind the gears ever so slightly so purists type R enthusiasts and evangelists I apologize from deep in my heart and even deeper in my soul that I would abuse this beautiful S80 gearbox the way I just did so uh, trust me it will not happen again Baby. There he goes. God! Say goodbye. Yeah! Oh. Oh. The K20 power, people. It's just, uh, it's unrivaled. NA four cylinder, best cylinder, best four cylinder in the world, in my opinion. Hands down. You just, you cannot beat it. That was a good run there. I, I was a little bit high in uh, first gear. I think I was like six or 7,000 RPM, so I had a bit of a wheel spin, but man, good run. No surprise in terms of the outcome. All right, we're gonna go again here. And uh, this time, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go to second gear here, people, to show you what kind of uh, power we have here, so. Oh, the sound of this car. It's amazing. Oh. 
look at him go. <laughs> I mean, that's progress, everybody. That's what a, uh, you know, a 10 year newer engine design from Honda will do for you. There's no doubting that the K motors are the truth. They have so much efficiency and those cylinder heads are really the magic bullet with those engines. Like, you know, a short block is a short block. Obviously Honda builds theirs very well, but the K20 cylinder heads flow like nothing else. I mean, they are just incredibly efficient. Even a fully ported B-Series head is struggling, struggling to match the flow of a completely stock K20 cylinder head. So just imagine what you could do with like a four piston CNC K head. I mean, the flow is just massive. Well, no big surprise how the roll races went there, but uh, still, man, it does uh, make me a little sad how much faster that K swap car is. But K keep in power, mind, K power, DP. it's not just K power too. That car is probably 200, maybe 250 pounds lighter than this car. So there's a power to weight issue there too. But man, that thing is quick in a straight line. However, I don't know if it's going to be as quick as this thing is around the racetrack because no LSD, you know, there's some other issues that Pete will tell you about. So I think this car is going to turn a very good lap time. However, it's a very hot day here today. It's like a maybe 35 degrees Celsius, so 90 Fahrenheit with high humidity. So we're not going to set any front wheel drive track records here. It really just matters who's quicker, the two of us. So uh, we're also going to hide the lap timer from both of us. So we won't actually know. You can it's see up we, over there. Yeah, there we, we pointed are, yeah. it's back there. So I won't know what lap time I did. Pete won't know what lap time he does. And that way, It'll be kind of exciting when we reveal the lap times at the end, both for you guys and for us, because it'll be a true surprise for everybody involved here. So the plan is one warm up lap, three hot laps and shut it down. So your typical like time attack style session. We're just doing one session each. There's no like spending a whole day here dialing these cars in. It's just uh, full send. Run with three laps. Wrong. If you go off track, you lose that lap. If you crash, well, then I guess you're going home a loser with a broken car. So don't do that. All right, everybody, it's time to rip some tech. Man, this car feels so good on the brakes, even though we're running an ancient set of HP Plus brake pads at the front. It was all my budget could handle, but they worked well on the first corner. It's been so long since I've been here. <laughs> kind of re-learning how to drive. I obviously I remember where the track goes because I've done a thousand laps here, but I've had so little seat time and I'm feeling pretty rusty, but we're still gonna give it the full beans. I got, I got to represent for the B-Series, for the Type R, and for all you tech lovers out there. I mean, we know PT loves Hondas too, but I live and breathe this stuff, people. I live and breathe it. Oh yeah, ABS saving my ass there. <laughs> Man, it's good. And the grip from these Contis is really nice. And of course I have a limited slip differential, something Pete does not have the luxury of enjoying. So I can really put the power down much better than he's gonna be able to. But I don't have that much power to put down. So I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make. Uh, overcooked that a little bit, but it still turned in really well there. And this is a pretty bumpy racetrack. I think these NX coilovers are handling it very well. I'm just kind of like in the middle on the front and rear dampers as a, a safe setup because we don't have the luxury of doing a lot of setup time today, but I'm liking what I'm feeling. And it's rotating into here nicely. A little drop throttle rotation there. Oh yeah, this is me techie goodness at its best. I'm not sure if I'm short shifting because I'm like seeing 9K RPM on the pack, but it's still not hitting the rev limiter. But man, I don't want to abuse this precious museum grade Type R, do I? Clearly not. Brake pedal's starting to feel a little long. We're not on a high temp brake fluid because that also was not in the budget, so. Whew. 
I'm tuckered out PT. I'm out of track shape here, if that's such a thing, but this car is so much fun, dude. You gotta try it. Once you've embarrassed yourself in the UK, you gotta come try perfection, because this thing is mwah, chef's kiss. It's so good right now. It's got like no, it's got a little bit of like slow rotation in it, but doesn't want to snap. And it's got so much grip in the front end. I'm really happy I did some research on these ECF tires because we need low pressures because they grip like crazy when you run them at low pressures. I just, I'm kind of blown away. It's not fast in a straight line, but man, it's so much fun in the corners. And the pedal started to feel a little long on me, but it survived those three hot laps. So it's uh, kind of the perfect setup for this challenge, Pete. I think you might have your hands full, buddy. Uh, the shortcomings, let's just get to them right away. Man, not having power steering sucks. It's really difficult to drive. Uh, I'm still getting used to the manual brakes and they are fantastic, but it's hard to rev match to heel toe and get this car um, downshifted without me going like that and then popping the clutch like you saw there. So it really ruins how, uh, how smooth I can be, but man, the grip of the Contis is incredible. I'm not even gonna downshift here. I should be, but I'm not going to just because as I said, uh, oh man, no LSD rocking me there. Woo, man, now here it is. Here's my problem. I don't know the braking zone here. I'm gonna push really hard, try to make my downshift. Ah, uh, see, I for sure have slowed down too much in that corner there. You can see it's fighting, battling me so hard. But the grip of the Contis is good. Great suspension here. Oh man, I can really lean on these brakes. Wow. I'm gonna have to go deeper here. Oh yeah, I rotate there a little bit with the trail brake. This corner here, it wants to spin me out, yep. Oh. Man, this thing would be so killer with an LSD. There we go, got my heel toe a little bit better there. Unwind the wheel here before I go full power. Wow, I thought I missed shift. Took forever. Oh, this thing is a handful. Such a handful, but wow, look at these tires. Grip me up. Oh. So good. This car feels so, so good. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it. Man, the K2 shifter. Whoever complains about this thing, look at it. Oh, it's so perfect, precise. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper here. Oh, that worked well. A little trail break and patience, patience. Not having a seat in this, man, this thing, I am flying around. These stock seats are terrible. Oh, I can feel the pedal, guys. The pedal's starting to get long on me already. See, I think that's the problem. Oh, boy. I'm on the, I'm on the brakes for too long because I don't know where the point of modulation is and this track kills you, absolutely kills you for brakes. Yeah, see, oh, it's already, they're starting to fade out on me here. Oh. I gotta be, look at how long I'm off the throttle there. That is terrible. It's okay. Come on, patience, patience. I can smell all the brakes. This thing just pulls so nicely. So, so nicely. Oof. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was crazy. It's been too it's long crazy. since we've had yeah. one of these battles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how are you feeling about your laps that you've had a minute to? I don't know, man. I just don't know. I was, I was just so all over the place. Like yeah. I said, there's just so much senses coming at you. Like I just had 
so uh, stimulation overload there. Were you talking the whole time? Or were you I just was ripping? trying to, I was trying. Because I just I talked to... the whole time, I was having yeah. so much fun. Yeah, yeah. And now, looking at the lap timer, I kind of regret doing that. I feel like <laughs> I might have left something on the table. I was too focused oh, on the Oh, the racer excuses yapping, already start. That's, which that's might be trouble. tipping you guys off. That's but trouble. Wait for it, everyone, wait for it. So, since I've been yapping, I did a best of a 124.90, which frankly is a little disappointing. I thought this Dude, might be like a 22 it's a, car. It's a hot day. It's, yeah, man. Like and there's no power. Man, it's just rusty as hell, honestly. I think that's, and no setup time in either of these cars. Like, we're here, we're ripping, and that's it. If yeah. we spent all day here, we could probably knock in a, a second sure. or two off just 100%. from seat time yeah, and yeah, yeah. familiarizing ourselves with the cars. Yeah. So, 124.90 yes. PT. 124.87. Oh. Ah, Three yes! One hundredths of a second faster. However, somebody here has a half second oh. lap penalty, which means you're actually a 125.37. It doesn't matter what it is, I lost. He lost the challenge, but he won on lap times. Oh man. Kind of fitting, frankly. I mean, we knew this car would probably be faster. Yeah, yeah. Power is hard to overcome. It is, it What really was it like is. with the open diff, by the way? Was that a big it deal? It was a struggle. Like, I, I tell you, if this thing had a proper diff in it, man, I'd, I'd shave like, I'd say at least a second right away off. It's just insane. You're waiting, you feel the car kind of like hopping. You know how yeah, the yeah, open yeah. diff yeah. life? Unwind, and especially unwind, on a track yeah. like this, where there's so many tight corners, yes. where you could power out so much quicker. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like the, the other big thing too is seating position. Right now, I'm just getting tossed and turned. God, mm -hmm. I, I wish I had made that Sparco seat work somehow yeah. because you know it would have just given you so much more confidence. You feel more planted. You understand where the car is. Where mm -hmm. right now, it's like when you're like this you're and you're trying yourself. to turn and you're like, yeah. whoa, is this car gonna roll over? You really don't know what's going on. Yeah, so. interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's funny in the Type R, even though I'm in street seats as well, I didn't feel that way. Oh, they, they've got so much they just You feel hooked into that car. True, true. And that car talks so much yes. too. Yeah. You don't feel like it's fighting you yep. the way I know these kinds of cars fight you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That feels more like a refined gentleman's lapping day car. Even though it's a Type <laughs> R and it's like really sharp and really pure, so uh, it feels so like tight. There's no rattles. Yeah. It just yeah. rips. This is the definition of like a K-Swap Civic. Yeah. It's just like raw, pure. Yeah. It smacks you around like you're, you know, you're their little bitch. Yeah. So yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, anyways, it was amazing. It was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Well, there you go, guys. We've got a winner. We've got a faster car. I think maybe we need to wrap this up by like just swapping cars. Yeah, yeah, let, let's do this. You know, this we'll call this episode officially over. What we're gonna do here is, you know, just put in a, a raw lap of DP driving the Civic and then a raw lap of me driving the Type R. So thank you guys so much for watching. Post in the comments, let us know, did you like kind of the new format for these videos, longer videos, but you know, not more episodes. So, yep. you know, I think we're under 10 episodes for both of these, yep. which is, I think, a, a, a nice a record really for good, us. Yeah, a really good number. We yep. finished them pretty quickly. So if you like the pace or you have any criticisms or comments, certainly post in the comments, let us know. And thank you Continental Tire too, by the Heck way, yeah. for sponsoring this series and making what is a hell of a good track yeah, tire. Yeah. Wow, they have a lot of grip and learning to lower the pressures on these, to me, they felt way grippier than when we tested them on our 350Z. So now I feel like I want to go, re -go back or go back and redo that test, but uh, can't do that one over again. No, we? no, you can't. So let's just go rip these cars instead. Yeah, windows up because we want you guys to be able to hear. Otherwise, windows down because it's hot as balls. And wow, no power steering. This is terrible. <laughs> I don't know how PT drove it. I guess that speed is probably not too bad. My EG back in the day did not have power steering, but it wasn't a depowered power steering rack. It was a non-power steering EG, so I don't think it was this heavy. Anyway, let's go experience the K flavor here, everybody. Oh man, K power, just barely rolling into it. You're like, it already feels so much more powerful. Oh my God. It's so much more powerful. I can't believe, oh, the men, I forgot the brakes are not boosted. Oh, PT wasn't lying about the heel and toe either. That is really a big stretch over to the throttle pedal. Oh my God, the power, the power is night and day. Wow, it's a struggle, the heel and toe. Turn in feels really good though. And this car, of course, is on Annex's uh, Fast Road Pro coilover. So this is more of their street setup. But on a track like this, which is pretty bumpy, I find a saw setup works really well here. So I don't even know that my club's Spec Pro setup would have been much of an advantage. It's 
So these this honed master, sorry, booster delete is really interesting. Like I've driven race cars with manual brakes and it has a similar feeling. The pedal is high effort and, and short travel. And man, I can't heel and toe. But I think once you get used to this brake pedal, it would actually be really good. I think you'd have a really good feel with it. And it's just so much more power. It's kind of mind blowing. 30 wheel doesn't sound like that much, but in these Hondas, it's a world of difference. I just don't know where to brake because the brake feel is so different and then heel and toe is so hard. The open diff, I don't know, hasn't bothered me yet. Probably because I'm only going nine tenths, but still. You really have to use the brake pedal hard, but when you do, it's there. Those HP pluses are doing, doing work. I don't know if I should go down to second here or not, but a little rotation there. This car is nice, man. Fix the ergonomics. This car would be really good. I'm with PT though, the harness and seat. Wow, coming out of the corner, the power. Wow. Just has so much pull out of the corners, like the torque. Open diff, okay. Gearbox is so good, man. This K2 shifter, super nice to use. I'm, I'm way over slowing for turn one there just because, like Pete was explaining, there's just such a difference in pedal feel and pedal spacing. But I think, you know, with seat time and Maybe a wider brake pedal. It would be a really nice setup. Try second gear through here. Oh man. It's violently fast. So good. Oh man, I almost locked the brakes up there, so. Good guys, this car is good. It's got so much potential. It is a handful though. I'm in a sweat that I was not in in the Type R. Oh, the brake pedal's starting to get a little longer there. guys and this car is light it's got a really good setup in it too like it is not understeering it is very neutral first of all talk about seating position this is so superior to that car oh my goodness and having the power steering again feels so so much better look at this ah! the seat feels better wow and watch this, limited slip, oh yes. But wow, the difference in in, uh, in power is remarkable. The brakes, everything just feels so, so much better. But look at, see, that's the struggle I find with this car. Like, look what happened. I wasn't in second gear there. And man, you're just waiting, waiting, waiting for any type of power to come in. If you're not in VTEC, Oh, the braking on this car is phenomenal. You can rock it. Look at this. Full power right here. Got it floored. But see, it needs that lower VTEC point. Oh, it's good. So refined. My God, you can attack the braking corners. Look at this. Like, I am so over slowing this car. 
I forgot how you have to drive these cars. You really, really, man, you gotta rev them out. I'm so used to the manual brakes. I'm using the brakes on this. Look at this car. Oh. Wow, though. Look at this thing. And oh, I just missed that corner, but power out here. Wow, this car just feels so much different after driving that. Like a, look at this. I just attacked the corner there and powered it through. Wowzers. Oh. There is something special about a Type R, my God. See, if you don't go to second here, and look at, heel toe in this car is so, so much easier. You're, you're out of the power band, and now, oh, I made the shift to fifth. I was trying to baby it there, that's funny. Watch this, I'm just gonna late break this thing right here. Oh, look at that. So late on that corner, man. These Continentals just they've got great grip, man. For these cars, they're on 205s. So, so much grip. It feels so nice. Now I'm just gonna oh, look at how good it goes. Yeah, wow. Suspension is certainly composed. Oh, I just feel like I can properly drive this car with the other one. It just takes me so much more time and effort to kind of like feel what I'm doing. Where this car, it just needs more power. Man, this with a K would be incredible. But look at this, I can flat it right there, mat it. Power that corner out, oh. Oh yeah, look at this, God. What other front wheel drive car could you drive like this? Oh, jeez. Incredible, guys. This is what peak front wheel drive is. All right, I'm gonna shut her down here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm starting to sweat. Incredible. This car just as a whole just feels so good. So right, like the wheelbase I feel is it's less twitchy than the other car. But man, the lack of power is significant. Holy smokes. It's kind of crazy, uh, the difference in power, you know, like we're talking 30 wheel, which is huge. And just the torque, like it just has no torque. I've forgotten how torqueless these motors are and why you constantly just have to have them up in the, the you know, between like seven and 9,000 RPM. And for me, it's difficult. I'm always, I have so much mechanical sympathy. I'm always telling myself, I'm like, oh God, is this thing, you know, am I gonna blow this thing up? I keep holding it at 8,000 RPM through a corner, but they don't, man. They just, uh, they keep on ticking. They, they do not fail for the most part. Like these engines are phenomenal given the, the abuse that they take.